Hi guys, Ronnie here. Today I want to show you how to fit aftermarket cranks and bottom brackets to your Cannondale specific BB30A or Pressfit 30A bottom bracket. So uh, the tools mentioned in the subtitles are exactly what are you going to need. And if you are a bit more careful than me, then you order the specific bottom bracket that your frame actually needs. So the newer models use the Pressfit 30A, which use cups into the frame. Uh, like I uh, have here. Unfortunately, I have only ordered bearings So I needed to remove the cups and then the bearings from them first using the Power tool BBT30 tool, which is excellent uh, The cups weren't too tight in the frame, but the bearings were quite tight uh, In the cups themselves, so I had to remove them. I've used a heat gun to heat up uh, the aluminum cups which helps a lot and then I use the socket uh, to hammer them out and they came out pretty easily. Okay, so in order to fit the BB30 crank a set power meter here, uh, what I needed to do was to remove the little aluminum spacer which is wedged between the preload adjuster and the crank arm itself. And you can do that just by undoing the tiny bolt on the preload adjuster, removing that, then use a bit of a heat uh, to take down the plastic sleeve that the thread has on it for the preload adjuster and then remove uh, the spacer itself. I have also made a tiny, very thin little spacer uh, to make the crank free of play and this way you can use the standard wide uh, spacer that comes with the standard cranks. Uh, you put this one on the drive side and you can also use the standard dust covers which come uh, with the standard Cannondale bottom bracket and this way you will have perfect alignment and uh, also a very nice creak and play free setup. Okay, so let's look at the bottom bracket itself. These are the cups uh, that press into the frame and the bearings come into these cups. Now, I wasn't very careful when ordering the parts, so I have ordered just the bearings. So what I needed to do uh, again was to remove uh, the bearings from the cups. If you want to save yourself this hassle, then just order the bottom bracket I have in the description. So this is the frame interface. It wasn't very tight. It was uh, just right, so hopefully no creaking will come. And uh, in order to put uh, the bearings into the cups, I would recommend you to first do that without pressing the cups into the frame. So what I did was I heated up the cups, uh, same as when removing, and then I uh, with one of my press fit drifts, I hammered them into place so they are nicely aligned. Uh, these are the old bearings which came from FSA as on many standard uh, bike bottom brackets and the bearings were getting a bit tired. This was mainly because of the very uh, narrow stance width on these asymmetric bottom brackets. Yeah, so the fit is quite tight between uh, the cups and the bearings, much tighter than between the cups and the frame. So I need to stress this in order to successfully um, install them this way. You have to first uh, put the bearings in the cups before pressing them into the frame. And heating up is a very good option because then it will be much easier. Uh, you can note that I also mark the outside of the bearings uh, for easier placing and uh, this way if their balls are facing outwards then they're much easier to service. The rifts I have used uh, for this setup are again from Kogel and these are all for the 30 mil uh, bottom brackets, they fit all of them. Uh, there are actually three of them so these are in case you have both uh, sides installed and this is for the first cup you are going to install this fit snugly against the frame so you have it aligned very very nicely so first you use this one on one side and the other one uh, and then they you, and then you use both uh, bearing drifts together so this way you get a very easy very secure fit in there with the bearings perfectly aligned as I can show you here so they fit into the cups very nicely. Uh, these also work for uh, BB386 EVO 
and PF30 BB, right? So basically every oversized bottom bracket that you have on there. I have also used, of course, as always, uh, Equiproof paste. This is probably the best assembly grease there is. And here's our finished product. So we have very nice alignment, which is visible on how easy the cranks spin. Also no play side to side and the cranks are pretty much spot on centered in the frame. So if you adhere to these uh, recommendations, then uh, you're going to get a very, very good result. As for the rest of the bike, as I mentioned, this is a Super 6 Evo uh, 2017 and it has the press fit 30A, all the models, mo uh, sorry, all the models of Cannondale's have the BB30 bearings pressed directly into the frame. So that way you only need uh, the bearings that I have here and you not, don't need to mess around with the cups. And if you have this uh, newer model, then you should check out uh, the description below. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.